Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And yes, I am still here in St. Croix Lake. And one of the things that one of my viewers had asked about was uh, how the muskie fishing was here and where to find them. And honestly, I had some good locations, but I didn't realize just how good this one location is if you happen to have a boat. Now, it's in my situation, I have a little bit faster boat, but. If you have a kayak or anything of that nature, you can probably get over here just as easily. It just may take you a little more time. But, of course, you got to start over here at the dock. Fairy tale fishing. Sorry about my dog. He's a little bit aggravating this day. Okay, we are going to go into a private room here. But, I will tell you... When I've gone to this location, the past two times I've gone there, I've met a unique muskie each time. And each time I've also managed to catch a trophy muskie along with a bunch of northern pikes and regular sized muskies. Now, we can only hope <laughs> that that's going to work as I'm recording. Sometimes things don't always work that way, but we're going to see what happens anyway. Even if we get a muskie, at least you'll get to see where these guys are. Uh, I've spent a lot of time here at St. Croix because there's so many varieties of species. Travel time's not that expensive, plus I have an unlimited license. So it's just pretty cheap to come here and I can usually make twenty to thirty thousand dollars in in cash a day without any issues at all. But it does take a little while to get over here. But we're going to Green Bay by boat, <coughs> and as you can see, we are heading into the peak. So the peak is very short on sunny days. But if it happens to get past that, we will go ahead and fast forward to 6 p.m. That way we'll go into another peak. But the peak periods are the best periods. You can catch these guys in between that, but they're far and few in between. They're usually not as big. give you an idea how fast this boat can go. <laughs> 27 miles per hour, 28 in some cases. It can move. But it's kind of hard to hear. But I know this is kind of a misty morning, so we're going to have to get fairly close to this one location. You're going to see a lot of activity on my fish finder, because they're there are a lot of fish here, but what we're waiting, we're trying to look for, guys, is you, once you see those lily pads over there on the right to me, that is an excellent spot to fish from the bank. But we want to get close to those and try to get as close to the end here as we can to where we can see those lilies on that side. That way we can fish all around here unobstructed so I do have the yeah I did put that down all right now I was fishing for trout earlier and I've got a good great actually not a good spot a great spot for trout may have to do another episode on that that I happen to to locate and a great spot for white bass But what I want to get is a crankbait. Now, I have been able to catch them with the... Let me show you here. Now, right now, I'm using the Rivertex Sal Monster. And this goes up to 42 pounds. I've also got 40-pound test on here, 0.024 floral line. It's starting to wear out, though, believe it or not been using it a lot the redfish 5500 reel so this is all pretty heavy-duty gear but when you're getting a unique muskie 
it pushes it to the limits let me tell you um, if you don't have this golem lore that I have on here I got that from when I was doing the monster fish missions uh, the crankbait 8 foot crankbait is really really good to use as well 12 foot is also real good to use and any of these poppers are also very very good to use the reason I'm using this is because for some reason these guys just really <coughs> love to hit that golem lure I don't know what it is but they really love to hit it ever since I've been using it I've been getting uniques so I'm going to use that and then we might switch over to the the blue 8 foot crankbait just to see what we can get with that as well Now you can't really see as easily as I wish would like, but right over there there are some lily pads. And where I've got it highlighted, you can see a lot of splashing going on. Now splashing definitely means that there's small bait fish feeding, and that means the big predators are gotta be close by, but you can see the splashing going on. This is where you want to cast. This is where they wanna they tend to hang out most often. Now we might not see the uniques until about 6 a.m. That's the tip of the peak. But we are I'm gonna continue using this golem lore because I just really like it. There are several great spots to fish along here until the muskies do start getting active and you can catch the northern pikes up until that point and as soon as I get this in I will show you those locations now Dool and I had done a gaming grandpa's head to head type competition thing where we were trying to outdo the other not too long ago and we were going after muskies in northern pikes but we were basically on the bank over here and we were casting up this way and over here those are still great locations both for float fishing and for lure fishing they're just now starting to get active so there we go this is probably going to be a northern pike. Yep. 758. Nice way to start off. The muskies, they kind of have a short window. You really have to to play them. You're going to get more northern pikes over in these locations. The unique muskies and the regular muskies tend to be down where I was showing you earlier. Here's another one. Yeah, they're definitely out here. They're definitely biting. Another good little place to throw is right where this tree is. Whoops, went too far that time. especially on the peak period <coughs> they tend to bite really well if you cast this way let's try again yeah also towards this tree as well I usually tend to use objects such as trees and other landmarks in order to get a judge on where to cast now sunny days are very good partly sunny is also very good now cloudy days I haven't 
been fishing them enough. I haven't had enough cloudy days here to really give you a good idea. But I think there's more of a peak period during cloudy days that you have to work with. So, yeah, the northern pike are definitely biting. This might be a trophy. Yep, I can always tell by the way they pull whether it's a trophy or not. But this Gotham lure is just amazing. If, they, if you can get your hands on one, they kill on these pike, I'll tell you. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this on just to see. Because this is one that you're going to be able to get your hands on. It's a 5 out hook. On it. it goes down about 8 feet, which is a good depth for these guys. You can use the 12 foot, but I haven't had as much luck as I have with this one. And the walleye really like this one too. There we go. Decent northern pike. You're not going to get one on every cast, but you'll get enough of them. Okay, since we've got some splashing going on there, we'll try there. <coughs> I always like to throw where I see the splashes. why whoa there you go let's try that again maybe we'll have the same luck <laughs> It's about time for us to switch back to our golem. Start trying over here because this is where they are, guys. We're going to find them. We're going to find them over here. There we go. And I think we might have us a good one this time, guys. Just as it past 6 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. Remember, this is 40 pound test. So this is not a small fish. And he is giving me a fight. He keeps taking it out, gets it to almost the red. So I would say this is at least a trophy. At least a trophy. I don't know. He might be unique, though. This guy's really got some oomph to him, I tell you. getting him there see what he is guys trophy yep there you go he's a big for a trophy though I had just a few pounds more and that makes him unique I tell you that's a nice fish right there as you can see 1698 cash 
Let's get a picture of him. See how pretty he is. Yep, that's a pretty fish. Yep, there you go, guys. Trophy muskie. One of the bigger ones I've seen. And you will get at least these. Now, we're still after the unique. Again, same locations. You can see all that splashing going on. That's where you need to throw it. We got only about an hour to really get these guys, so. After that, you're not going to see too many of them. It's pretty rare. And then you only get the regular size ones. There we go. Ooh boy. Yeah, he may not be as big as he seems. Let's let's get him in here first, take a look at him. He might be though. He backed off a little bit and started swimming towards me. Oh no, he's he's a good fish. Oh crap, he's a good fish. He is a good fish. Good fish. <laughs> Come on, big guy. The, your public waits. They want to see you. Come on. Man. You can hear my line twingy and twanging. There you go, guys. Your basic unique muskie. Very nice. Big fish, big fish. We're talking 46.616 pounds. Not my biggest. 50 has been my biggest. But that's not a, anything to sneeze at, I'll tell you that. That's a nice fish. We're going to get a close look at him, too. Yeah, there you go. Now you can get an idea just how big these guys get. That's a hefty fish. Let's get over here to the light here. Get a little bit of better picture. Nice. Very nice. That's them, guys. They're right there. And as you saw, I got a trophy and a unique. We still got 30 minutes so we can fish this peak. So we might still get something else. We'll see. I'm going to throw right where that guy splashed. Yeah, come down here early. The peak. Fish for the northern pikes until the tip of the peak hits and then the muskies start biting. And there's another one. Don't. Well, I'm not sure. He may not be as big, but I'm uh, I'm not so s certain I know about that. Let's see here. Hmm. Nah, I don't think he's quite as big. Yeah. See, that's a regular muskie right there, guys. Still, 18 pounds, 40 inches. Still a very good catch. Yeah, this line I've got on here is about shot. <laughs> it's in the red now. I'm going to have to switch it out here pretty soon.
Okay, looks like we got something else. I don't think this is as big. Nah, this is not nearly as big. It's probably a regular musky. Tiger musky. Nice. Okay, you see the difference in these guys. See the stripes? That's the name. Get a little better look at him. Yeah, see, he's got those big stripes where the regular muskie is almost a solid color. Now, these do come in uniques here as well. I have not caught a unique. Caught a trophy, but not a unique. But I wasn't even aware that there were any over this location. I've caught them in other places, but that's really interesting to know. There's also the clear musky too. Ah, oh, heck, I got a snag. And I got something with the snag. Probably hornwort. Nope, a shell. There's a lot of activity over there. Alright guys, I think we might have missed the peak now. Once it's 7 a.m. it tends to settle down a little bit as far as the muskies go but there are other peaks coming now you can continue fishing this area for northern pikes they will continue biting quite well for another hour or two on a sunny day so you can fill up your net pretty quick get plenty of cash you might get a couple of trophies while you're at it and if you're real lucky you might even get a unique but most of the time the uniques tend to go come during the uh, peak periods so since that's such a limited window <laughs> unfortunately gotta work with what you got there we go This isn't a bad fish, guys. Now, I'm pretty certain this is not a muskie, but it's a decent sized northern pike. Damn. This might be a unique. Holy crap. You saw him take off. Yeah, this is a big fish. This is a very big fish. If this is not a unique, he's a very big trophy. Come on. Come on. You're getting tired, my friend. You know you are. You're giving up the ghost here. Holy crap, I think he might be unique. Yes, he is. Oh my gosh. Oh lord, I was just after the unique muskie, but he is bigger than the muskie was. No, he wasn't. But he's still good size. 50.523 inches. 2909. Wow, that's a fishing session I <coughs> definitely am going to remember. That is a nice fish, guys. There you go. You saw it. We got a unique muskie and a unique northern pike all in one session here. That And you're seeing where you can get them. This is it, guys. Boat does help a lot. It's You can do it off the shore, but it's so much easier to do with this boat, I tell you. Yeah, it's a big fella, I tell you. Definitely getting a picture of him. And that is definitely a great way to end this episode, guys. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I think this time we're go we are going to be focusing on trout in the next episode. I was going to focus on the northern pike, but apparently I don't really need to. <laughs> Looks like I did pretty well on both in this case. But anyway, guys, until then, I will see you later. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.